Welcome everybody. Welcome to this open day at the School of Business and Economics of Maastricht University. My name is Jaap Bos and this is Fahira Kabir. We are currently in the lecture hall, which is where we start our journey as a part of this open day. But we also talk to you about student life in Maastricht, what you can expect in the next three years and what you can expect afterwards. So let's get started and welcome to this open day. At the School of Business and Economics, education comes first. The key evidence of that is our Triple Crown accreditation, recognizing our emphasis for high quality education. First and foremost, we are an international school of business and economics. Nearly half of our staff is non-Dutch. We have 5,000 students from 70 different countries. Adding to the international experience are the many exchange students that visit the Maastricht University School of Business and Economics every year. Most of the time, you will not be sitting in a lecture hall, but in a room like this one, sitting with a small group of students and a tutor working on real-life problems. That's why we focus on teaching you four key competences. First and foremost, knowledge and insight. We want you to know what you're talking about. Secondly, academic attitude. Because being an economist is not just about knowing today's knowledge, but also knowing about how to acquire tomorrow's knowledge. Thirdly, we focus on interpersonal competences. You'll be working in a team with others during your studies and afterwards, solving those real life problems. How do you do that? And finally, for the International School of Business and Economics, we want you to acquire knowledge about global citizenship. How do you work together with people with many different backgrounds and many different cultures? So, first things first, I guess it's quite interesting to reflect on my decision three years ago and what pushed me towards Maastricht University. I think it's quite an unconventional story when you hear about a girl from Bangladesh coming all the way to Maastricht to pursue her bachelor's, but there are certain unique factors about Maastricht that really struck out for me. First and foremost, I think it was a problem-based learning method. I'd always learned in a setting where my education really revolved around textbooks, so when I started a new chapter in my life, I wanted a fresh perspective. The problem-based learning method helps you to facilitate learning not just through textbook but via discussion. And I think the major advantage that you gain when you learn through conversation is that you know how to apply the theory that you're absorbing into real-life situations. PBL also teaches you teamwork because you learn to work with people from different countries and different internationalities within one room. You also learn um, skills about public speaking, because even when there are a myriad of opinions in the room, you learn to voice your one. So that way it also helps to generate some confidence inside you. So when I reflect back on my week, it mainly comprises of, of course, some studying, tutorials, lectures. I have some meetings with my team members, as well as some meetings with the consultancy that I'm working with. But moving on to the fun side of things, I have lunches and as well as some fun brunches planned with my friends throughout the week that are scattered. And um, if you're studying in Maastricht, then your week will probably comprise of a lot of trips to coffee lovers. So I think there are um, actually a lot that you can get involved with university. Um, Scope is one of the largest study associations that we have and they organize so many trips. They also do a lot of career events for you. I learned a lot about presentation skills. I learned a lot about thinking analytically and most importantly I found some of my closest friends there. Maastricht is a small city compared to where I come from and where my roots lie in Bangladesh so it's for me quite a change of scenery and it's something that I really enjoy the ability to be able to walk to everywhere in 15 minutes and also the fact that whenever you head, head out of your house you're bound to meet some people that you already know. Maastricht's the coziest city you'll find in Europe. <laughs> so we told you a lot about what it's like to study at SBE. Now it's time to get a little bit more serious. Sit back, relax, but listen carefully as we tell you a little bit more about the contents of this study program. Welcome everyone, my name is André Berger and I'm the program leader of Econometrics and Operations Research. This program will teach you how to solve problems arising in business and economics and covers a wide range of disciplines. And they all have one thing in common, that is the mathematical approach. Maybe the name doesn't tell you very much, so let's have a look at an example where Econometrics and Operations Research has had a long-lasting impact on a community. Communities have a large responsibility for the lives of their citizens, and so does Louisville in the state of Kentucky in the United States. 
Louisville is regularly facing large rainfalls and that's why they have a big challenge in managing their water and sewer systems. About 10 years ago, they have implemented a real-time control system that uses techniques from econometrics to have better weather forecasts and uses techniques from operations research to optimize the flows in their sewer network and to make the most efficient use of their resources. That has saved them more than $200 million in capital costs over the last 10 years. And they've also saved 2 billion gallons of water every year in additional sewer over flooding. When you study econometrics and operations research, you will learn the necessary mathematical foundations, techniques and skills that enable you to solve problems like the one that the Louisville Sewer Touristic District was facing. In particular, you will learn how to understand and analyze mathematical and statistical techniques in order to make more efficient decisions. You will also develop models for economic settings like inflation and unemployment. And finally, you will learn to use the necessary computer software that enables you to make use of the data that is necessary to solve such problems. Overall, you will tackle all these problems with a mathematical mindset. For that purpose, our curriculum consists of a mix of mathematical, business and economics courses. In year one, you will have mathematical courses like algebra and analysis to lay out the foundations and at the same time you will learn about the basics of business and economics. In the second year, you will focus on disciplinary courses like optimization, statistics and game theory, which will deepen your knowledge in these areas. And in your final year, you will have the chance to spend one semester abroad at one of our many partner university, and you can choose specialization courses to deepen your knowledge in one of the specific areas. And at the end of your studies, you will write a bachelor thesis in a related subject. Do you wonder if econometrics and operations research is the right program for you? Well, if you have a passion for mathematics and numbers, and you would like to solve real-world problems using that passion, then this program is for you. We are a passionate group of researchers and teachers. We have very close contact to our students, and we help you in any way we can to succeed in our program. Once you do succeed, you can work in many different areas and industries, for example, as a data scientist, as an economic advisor, or as a consultant. The opportunities are endless. So take on the challenge, and I hope to welcome you soon at Maastricht University. So what does your time look like after your bachelor at Maastricht University? Well, you might start a job, or an internship, or or you could be starting a master's at a brand new facility right behind us here at Topine. So enough about us. It's time to talk about you. What are we looking for in our new students? Well, we are an international school. We do have a problem-based learning system. So what kind of students do we want? Faria. Okay, so reflecting back, I think the students that we probably need at SBE are those that are ambitious, those who carry the ability to work in teams, and simultaneously, I feel like we need people who also know how to have fun um, and really know how to strike a balance between their academic lives as well as their social lives here at the university. We think that knowledge is not just absorbed, it's exchanged. It's a two-way street and you contribute to the success of our program just as much as we do. If you truly want to know what it means to be an SBE student and get a first-hand experience of what it's like to be spending a day um, as one of us, then do check out our student live stories or check out our Instagram on the Bachelor Open Days. Or join us for one of our virtual experience days where you can really experience what it's like to be a student at SBE for a day. We look forward to welcoming to you, you next, next year. year. <laughs> See, you, See next you next year. year. Let's go get a coffee. <laughs>